we are covering a very important topic today, and it is white breasts, white boob. I mean, white white breasts, <laughs> white meat chicken, white breast, breast meat chicken. I'm talking about chicken. All about the chicken. Not just any chicken. The most tender, juiciest, moistest, delicious is chicken breast you've ever eaten. I'm gonna show you how to make it using this machine. It's a sous vide machine from Anova. Coming right up. If there's anything that I'm gonna tell you to buy, it is this machine. It cost me about $75 on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down in the description. But damn! Once you start tasting chicken breast this good, you will thank me. Whenever that meat just melts in your mouth like butter, butter. Why did the chicken cross the road? To go into my sous vide machine. <laughs> that was horrible. The secret to the most delicious, tenderest chicken ever is water temperature control. You don't want no drop balls chicken. You ever eaten a piece of chicken and it's like, <gasps> oh hell no, we are done with those days. Done, I tell you. I'm very passionate about moist chicken breasts, as you can see. Sous vide is a French technique where there is a some type of machine that helps to circulate the water and it keeps the water at a perfect, perfectly precise temperature. What I have here, chicken breast, seasoning, a Ziploc bag, a big pot of just water, this thing has water in it, and my sous vide machine from Anova. I'm gonna turn it to 150, and I'm gonna set the time. And it's gonna start doing its thing, it's gonna bring the water up to temp. How do I know 150? The, the science geeks at Anova researched every single temperature possible out there and they marked it down and they said the best temperature your water and your chicken should be cooked at is 150 degrees. It's coming to temp right now. All you gotta do is season your chicken, put it in a bag. When it comes to temp, put the bag in the water and walk away. Let's season our chicken breast. And I'm just using an Italian blend. It's got salt and pepper herbs and spices. Um, I'm gonna open it like a professional. And now I need a bigger hole. Ah! Oh, hell no! Okay, we're gonna keep rolling. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna take the chicken out of the container. I'm gonna season it liberally. Bruno! Then you can use salt and pepper, you can use whatever spices you want. I don't even put any oil, any fat, anything in my Ziploc bag because it doesn't need it. It's so tender. If you have a vacuum sealer, go ahead and use it. I don't and you really don't even need it. I'm going to show you a trick to get it to vacuum seal. I know. Using the water displacement technique. Woo -hoo! We're getting all sciencey here, guys. I always cook a whole pack of chicken, because why not? And I'm gonna put all the chicken breasts in the Ziploc bag. This could not be more simple. All the chicken goes in the bag, like so. All right, the water is now at temp. I've cleaned myself up a bit. So now we're gonna put the chicken that is seasoned into the water. And I'm gonna show you the water displacement thing. So it's super cool. You don't need a vacuum sealer because as you put the bag into the water, the water is gonna suck out air from the bag. Oh, it's doing it right now. It's gonna suck out all the air just like a vacuum sealer does. And then you don't need to go spending hundreds of dollars on a food saver vacuum sealer. Right, right? See how it's so sucked up? It's not bad, it's not perfect, but you don't really need it to be perfect. So now, I'm just gonna leave the chicken in. So this is gonna take one hour, in which time this machine does all the work for you. You don't need to babysit it, you just go away, go do your thing. When you come back, you're gonna have perfectly cooked chicken breasts. The chicken is fully submerged. 
the machine is doing its thing. It's always gonna keep a consistent around 150 degrees. And you're done, your work is done. You got one hour to do whatever you want. The reveal is here. Be excited, it's happening. Yeah, get the tongue. Oh, I'm gonna slice this baby up and you are going to see what I am talking about. Oh, hell yeah. Can you see this? This is for real. Look at this. Look at this. I can't even tell you. It's unbelievable. Oh! So tender. It's like, it doesn't even feel like meat in your mouth. Is that weird? But, oh man, it's so moist. Every single slice, every single slice is just perfect. From the thickest part of the chicken breast to the thinnest part. Oh, look at that. Look at that sheen. Does anybody else get this excited about moist chicken? Look at that. It's literally... My favorite way to eat this chicken is just diced up, thrown into salads. You can eat it on top of a bed of rice. You do whatever you want. You can take it to bed with you. Oh, maybe not. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a like, give me a comment. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if you get a sous vide. You're gonna need a sous vide. And I'll be back next week. See you later. I've been keeping busy in that one hour. Check out what I've been doing. All my meals are cooked. My kitchen is cleaned. That is how it's done. Ninja in the kitchen.